Morning class, now we've got the colour strings all mixed out, I'm just going to show you how I would simply apply it to a, another landscape painting. The exact same principles apply if you have anything that's a bit more complicated, a bit more detailed, but I'm just show you with this just so we can get started and get your painting. So I've just dampened um, the tip of the brush to start with. These are all uh, filbert brushes. I'm going to start with that very, the darkest colour that we mixed. Then just grab the next one down. Next one down again. Take the pigment off of the brush. Might have a bit of um, glazing liquid just on the tip now just to kind of subtly blend that in. And again if you feel you've got too much paint on your brush, choose a kitchen roll to take it off. And you see how I'm working on the, with the side of the brush, because it's a fill but it's got that rounded edge, you'll just feather it in. And just with some of the pure white. I might with a clean brush to say washing that one out. Just go over again just with the white to get closer to the horizon line. And here we've just got a very, very simple example of a graduated sky with acrylics using the principle of colour strings. Um, if you're working at home, I'll be tempted to put, kind of, you could mix them onto this palette, but then put them in a stay wet palette. That will give you a lot, lot longer working time. Your acrylics will stay wetter for longer, and then you can just keep on going back to them to adjust any parts of your painting that you want to. This is Will Kemp from Will Kemp Art School.